Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. Now today we are doing something that has been requested so much on my channel and that is gameplay in the Corsair. Corsair is a lot different to the Zero and I don't fly in this in the same way at all. I use the, the 1A variant in the same way as the Zero almost, except I use more flares, but honestly the 1A is quite unreliable for me. I find that if the enemy team has anyone who's even remotely decent at dogfighting, the 1A just gets destroyed by the superior cannons on the Zero. Even if you get behind them, the, the cannons are so weak on the 1A that it takes forever to kill. Now what we have here is the 1C variant, and this thing has the 6 HMGs, there's the supercharger and the rocket pods. Now this thing is really really good because firstly the supercharger is so so useful in dogfights. It's a live commentary gameplay coming up here so I'll explain exactly how I use that. And the the 6 HMGs actually give you a, a viable option on this team. Otherwise everything else is kind of average. So we do like running the 6 HMGs and the supercharger is just so so easy to win like kind of verticality based dogfights with. I'll explain all of that stuff during the live commentary I guess. And the rocket pods here are um, they're used as well, but honestly the rocket pods aren't a big selling point in this plane since you can't one strafe tanks with them. You can do about 80 damage, but I tend to use them against big groups of infantry and there are some nice feeds in this gameplay. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Corsair variants. Which one do you like more? For me, it's definitely this 1C and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace. Up there, really high. I do see that. Uh, don't bring him towards the area, otherwise we're just going to get AA'd. I can get him. I hate this, what he's doing right now. He's just abusing the repair. He didn't get it quick enough though. You really can do this with the turbo, it's quite awesome, like the way you can defend with it, look at this. And he's stalled out. He's totally stalled. <laughs> That's such a cool way to do it. I love doing that so much. He tried to follow me up, but he just doesn't have the, the power to do it. That is some cool creative defense I'd say. Not quite traditional battlefield. Battlefield's more like scissors and switches, but you can do weird stuff and it works sometimes. It's just learning those kind of things which is really fun to do. And uh yeah, we have cleared out the airfield. I'm not actually gonna use my instant repair because I'll just time it so I get my full repair and it does the whole health. As long as you're above 75 or 75 or above you can just wait till you're close to the airfield and then start repairing like now. And then as you fly over, it will let you repair the full amount and you'll get that. So it just ticks over now. And there we go. Full repair. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look for some tanks. We're gonna try to reload these these rounds we got. And go for the tank that should be close to our friendly team. I don't know where he's gone. Yeah, here he is. Gonna go rocket, 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 rocket. I just heard a plane get shot down. Is that friendly or enemy? I'm not sure. And there's one down here. Give him a rocket. <laughs> I feel bad for doing that. <laughs> oh, that's such a scum move. Well, he's gonna die anyway, right? He's gonna get smoked no matter what. He, unless he uses a dogfighter plane, really. Or uses an engine upgrade. So there we go. Get him nice and dead. And this game, we're just going to make sure that they don't have any planes. And we should put our team with a better chance of winning. There we go, a little MP kill. It's not ridiculously effective against infantry these cannons you have to get quite close for them to converge because they're wing mounted so what I mean by converge 
Uh, you, you wouldn't know. But basically there's a point, you'll see it, where the bullets cross each other. Now look at this. They, they cross at a certain distance, and that's the convergence point. And I wish they just didn't do that. I wish they just went straight, and they were always accurate. And yes, I am uh, running the 6 HMDs. And, um, yes I am. Sounds weird. Um, there's a lot of infantry here. Let's see if we can do a little bit of damage to them. Might actually kill them. There we go. We actually got a white, white plane there. They're deadly. Go straight up on the vert. down a little bit. Since I can tell this is going to be extended dogfight. Well not extended but as in like I got some time to make it happen. We're in a... it was a 3v1 but should be fine here. I can just pull the moves on this kid. Oh he actually came up here. I don't know how he came up here so fast. Should be able to just do this now. And loop back with the turbo. You can you can play with energy so nicely with this plane. It's it's amazing fun if you learn how to do it. I have to make a video on using this plane defensively because it is it is great fun just to even let a plane get on your six and then just mess with them. Totally just play with them, and you you can do that. Have played against that guy, decent pilot. Respect the lad. Yeah, that, that, he's a good pilot. He has a good aim there. Got to respect players with good aim. It's hard to know whether you're really better than someone unless you go 1v1 them in private because public matches have so many different factors. Our forces have secured the sector. Proceed into the next sector immediately. At least you don't really kill many tanks with this, you just do a lot of damage to them. There's two planes coming up. We're gonna have to play a little bit careful just to make sure that we get them gone. I don't want to burn too much of my turbo. You got a plane on your six, dude. I can't really fight him over there too safely. Hold up. Oh, nice reversal. I just destroyed him. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sick. That's cool. Alright, we've got another plane here. Just gonna leave the cannons in on him. Bit of a long shot. How'd that kill him? I don't even know. Barely hit anything. Maybe go for one infantry stray since we've got good health. Just gonna see where they are. There's some here. Come on, give me that. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to get kills with these. Use my turbo to get back to the resup faster. Back here already. Get my rockets back. And we should be good to kill some tanks. Wait, what? Didn't work. And that should get me the rocket, surely. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not really killing any tanks with this with this plane. You do need two of them to do it effectively. But if you get two of these things up, you can really cancel all their vehicles. It's quite cool. Because they can definitely fight with the Japanese planes when it comes to air combat. They're not quite as good, but they are still very workable. I'm just going to keep my distance up on this AA. Go a little bit higher. Loop back down on him. 
This is not going to plan, I will admit. Okay, it's back on plan. So yeah, now we're going to go for this AA and tank. That's all my rockets used. There's a lot of infantry down. Oh shit, here we go. <laughs> he can't, he just doesn't have energy to play with this. Yeah, so he has to turn down. And that's the cool thing about this plane. I like being up up in these high altitudes with this thing because I can really mess with even the skybox because it slows you down the skybox once you hit it, it like it speed caps you and you can play with that too so that's awesome and get that playing now I'm gonna get this one he crashed now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to play with the speed here. We've got so much health we can play with. We're going to stall them out. And then boost. And I'm going to boost right back onto a 6. Really getting the most out of this turbo here. And yeah, he knows he can't fight it. He's going to have no chance if he tries to contest that. And he's actually flying to a little secluded location where I can murder him. So, thank you. And it's good fun. Just going for these planes. And that's another one gone. We've got plenty of ammo left. Decent health, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to find at least one infantry. And uh, take him down. There we go. Get out, get out, get out. And we are out of here. So I'm not killing many infantry, but when we do, we just make sure we have decent health because we have to get in really close to make these cannons work. I can't just snipe with them. Check the scoreboard again just to see who's up. We got two planes up, supposedly. So I'm going to keep my altitude up high so I can mess with skybox and all that kind of stuff that gives me an advantage. And we're going to go for... Uh, the target that's furthest away from his, his assistance. He's actually fucked it there. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill him. Put him out of misery though. Oh! What was that? That was not a plane. That's enter a 2v1 at their base, but I'm not really worried because what I'll do is I'll switch this target whilst he's slow. <laughs> I don't really care about spawn camping. People do it to me, so I do it to them. It's a dog, but it's Dice's fault for making land spawns that I'm just going to abuse it. I should have just made air spawns on maps. Done that way better. Could be a massive improvement to vehicle combat. What does it mean you want to play the spawn camp game? I don't care, do it to me. Shoot me down first. That's what I mean, like... If it, if it happens to me, it's whatever. People do it to me. <laughs> it is what it is. It's part of the game, unfortunately. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's actually a dogfighter plane below me, I believe. I don't actually want this fight right now. I'll try to end it as fast as possible. I don't actually want to be here, but they keep on spawning, so I'm just going to have to keep on killing them. He's actually good, that guy. Like, he knows what he's doing, clearly. He's gonna put a bunch of rounds in that area. Doesn't really matter. Just get him in there, and then you go rearm. And 
can look for more planes. We got grey robins back in the plane. And uh, yeah, I'm just making sure to kill all their vehicles. Oh, we got a white plane there. White plane, white plane. They're scary. Beautiful. I love that, like, killing people in first person. It's always more satisfying, in my opinion, than just beaming them out third person. I will still argue that the Fleeger is better than ever right now, just with the range it gets. Don't want to get too close. I still believe that. Never used to really buy the Fleegers, I mean, on like my games where I'm really pushing it I do, but in a game like this you just wouldn't. Quite far away. Just keeping an eye on my, my uh, heat up on my cannons, letting it cool down before I get up close. Then doing most of my damage there. And just getting my angles. Come on, a little bit of speed. That should do it. Kill steal. Another plane taken off. He's actually lower than me, so if he if he turboed and went vertical, he could have actually got on my six there. And it's very hard to shake a white plane if with a turbo who knows what he's doing. Luckily, I don't know if this guy does, if I'm being honest. He probably doesn't have it on one mox. He should die there. I'm surprised he's not there actually. Forty bullets left. No rockets. We're gonna go re repair now. And yeah, this is how I like to fly the um the Corsair. I fly it as a support plane, and I just make sure that there's no armor, there's no planes. I can fly the other one and do like 70 and and whatever, like no real massive like 190 and O's, but I can fly that one. The problem with that one though is you do have to dogfight people because zero pilots tend to like dogfighting more than Corsair pilots for some reason. So you end up dogfighting a lot more, and the cannons are just so weak that you don't really. You don't really get dogfights done fast enough to spend enough time farming, so... I, oh, shit. Jesus Christ. That was cool. Recording that. Except recording. <laughs> That's what I like to see right there. Hopefully that helps our team push up. Because that was a lot of kills. Like, lots of kills. The damage there get over the cliff all right hello guys it is post commentary silk back and we're about to die here so i've made a few mistakes and i'm going to talk over those so i should have went up a little bit and then turned towards the ground for that maneuver there that would have made it harder for him to hit me and i would have had a little bit more health which you'll see would have helped me a lot later but this plane here he doesn't use his turbo when he should have used it he should have used it on that vertical and he would have closed the angle a lot faster he didn't do that and this is going to be an easy kill for me there we go that's one plane down However, another plane comes towards me. There's nothing I can do here to decrease the damage. Just have to turn towards him. And here I try desperate stall. All I need now is another another missed shot from him. But he does not going to miss that. What I could have done there is as soon as I noticed he was going to get that angle, I could have pitched down. And that would have shut that down. And then I have to turbo up. And I should be on his 6 after that, assuming he has no turbo. He didn't, so... I'd say I could have won that fight with a little bit better flying, but I didn't have that. Anyways, that's the end of the game. I hope you all enjoyed. I ended up pretty much stopping flying after that point, just playing on foot, so we won after that, only because the guy who just killed me then, he left the server, he had to go to work or something, so shout out to that guy, he was fun to fly against, and I'll catch you all in the next one, peace.